Ever edited a photo on your phone and thought, this should feel more professional? Like you've got this powerful phone, but the editing tools sometimes feel like they're from 2015. Well, Samsung just heard that silent complaint and dropped a solution in the most unexpected place. Welcome back, viewers. James here. If you're into slick updates and Samsung secrets, hit like, smash that subscribe button, and tap the bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Let's dive into One UI 8.0, not just another Android update, but possibly the most practical one Samsung has pushed in years. Based on Android 16, this new version brings a handful of smart upgrades, but the Gallery app, that's where the magic's happening. And unless you're paying attention, you might completely miss it. So here's what's new. Samsung has taken the background blur feature in the gallery's photo editor and made it ridiculously smooth. No more laggy sliders or weird jumpy transitions. Now, when you adjust the blur level on your portrait shots, it feels fluid, responsive, and just right. It's like the app finally caught up to the camera hardware. But wait, it gets better. They've added a new gesture that's tiny in effort, but massive in usefulness. When you're editing a photo, you can now press and hold to instantly preview the original. Let go, and you're back to the edited version. No toggles, no undoing, no accidental resets, just pure control at your fingertips. Honestly, it feels like something pro editors would brag about. And now it's right in your pocket. And this isn't just about editing convenience. It's about Samsung quietly making everyday users feel like creators. You don't need Lightroom or Snapseed to make your photos pop anymore. Samsung's gallery app is evolving into a full-on editing studio, and this is only the beginning. Now let's talk beta. The One UI 8.0 beta opened for the Galaxy's 25, S25 Plus, and S25 Ultra on May 28th, and in just 48 hours it closed. Yep, that fast. It filled up before some users even knew it was live. That alone tells you something big is happening. Either Samsung made the program ultra limited on purpose, or the demand for One UI 8.0 was off the charts, or both. But then came the twist. Some users started reporting they could still join the beta days later, which raises the question, did Samsung quietly expand the program behind the scenes? Historically, Samsung has done this before, rolling out beta 2 or beta 3 with new openings, testing more devices, and fixing more bugs before going stable. So if you missed out, keep your eyes locked on the Samsung Members app. Because just when you think it's over, they open the gates again. And here's the biggest clue yet, Samsung has already set official beta pages for the Galaxy S22 and S23 series. That means these models are next in line to get one UI 8.0, and the rollout could happen much faster than previous years. If you're on one of those phones, your wait might be days, not weeks. This rollout strategy marks a shift. It's not just about pushing updates. It's about testing how fast they can scale without sacrificing quality. And by making small, useful upgrades instead of bloated features, Samsung is showing us they're thinking long term. Now, the One UI 8.0 beta is more than just gallery tweaks. Under the hood, Android 16 brings improved privacy tools, tighter background app control, and better performance management, especially for multitaskers and gamers. But Samsung hasn't fully revealed everything yet. You can bet more features are on the way in beta 2 or 3. Another subtle but meaningful change battery efficiency. Early testers have reported better battery optimization across the board. It's still beta, so mileage may vary, but it shows that Samsung is listening to the number one user complaint. Let's not forget animations. Samsung's refining transitions and motion effects to feel faster without actually pushing the hardware harder. It's a psychological performance trick, and it works. Even older devices will feel snappier once One UI in hits stable. So what should you do now? If you're on the S25 series and already in the beta, explore every feature. There's more than meets the eye if you're on the S22 or S23 series, get ready. And if you missed the beta sign up, don't give up. Check the members app regularly, especially when beta 2 drops. Here's a final tip, enable push notifications in Samsung members and follow their notices section. The moment new beta slots open or updates roll out, you'll be among the first to know. One UI 8.0 might look like a small upgrade on the surface, but it's laying the groundwork for a smarter, faster Samsung ecosystem. And what we're seeing now, it's just the start, by the time the stable version hits later this year, we could be looking at one of the most user-friendly Android U as yet. All right, tech fam, that's all for today's deep dive. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button, share it with someone waiting for One UI 8.0, and don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell icon. I'll be bringing you more updates as they drop. Until then, stay sharp, stay curious, and I'll catch you in the next one.